Welcome to all for the Vidyanuti session number two. That's the usual start with Dhyana Slogan. Gajananam Bhuta Ganadi Sevitam Kavita Jambu Balasara Bhakshitam Uvasutam Soka Vinasa Karanam Dabami Vignesh Parapada Pankajam Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Mageshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Sri Guru Venamaha, Sadashiva Samaram Pam, Sankara Charya Madhyamam, Asmat Acharya Paryantam, Bande Guru Paramparam, Vasudeva Sutam Devam, Kamsa Charnura Maddanam, Devaki Paramanantam Krishnam Bande Jagat Gurum. I am very happy to continue the Vidhaniti series. You might ask, what is so special about Vidhaniti? We have so many books now, so many training programs all focused towards self-development, skill improvement, to become more intelligent, to become smarter, and also to learn how to manage things. So these are all already available in so many videos, so many training centers, but what is so special about Vidurniti? Well, let me tell you something. Now we have studied many of these in my younger days when I did management at St. Xavier's in Bombay at the time. The textbooks which were given to refine or learn management skills or self-improvement in work were all books from Western countries. We had Peter Drucker, management objectives one of the management gurus from usa philip kotler's book on marketing and there were so many books that came about subsequently also in search of excellence by tom peters was written many other books too so with all these we were trained to think that western thinking was superior and we did not really have any Indian equivalent books to teach us how to develop our own self. But Vidurniti, Bhagavad Gita, these are scriptures which are thousands of years old. These books came about in the last maybe 60 to 70 years. And we didn't have any Indian books or Indian authored text to teach us on how to really develop our skills. So what is special about Vidhaneti is it is thousands of years old, but very poorly marketed. In fact, the wisdom of India itself is so ancient, but we were very poor in marketing it. The Western world, particularly America, took a lead when they started marketing it beautifully. But if you read some of those books, they praise highly about India. The Tom Peters says in his book called Little Big Things, get India into your mind. Make it a daily ritual. He says, I'm quoting him. Make it a daily ritual. So it's really wisdom that has gone from India to the West and re-bottled, repackaged, and come back to us. So why not have we have the original itself? So that is the greatness of our scriptures, and Vidur Nidhi is no exception. So with these few words, I'm going to continue. And this time I'm making a difference. I am happy to add some comments in Hindi also for people who are more comfortable in Hindi. So let me say a few words to welcome those people. Bhaiyo or bahano, 
आपकी समझ के लिए मुझे हिंदी में कुछ शब्द जोड़ने के खुशी हो रही है आप जानते हैं कि महाभारत कथा एक बहुत पुराना इतिहास है महाभारत की कथा के महत्वपूर्ण पात्र विद कौर वंश की गाथा में अपने विशेष स्थान रखते हैं विदुर नीति मंत्री विदुर द्वारा राजा दर्द राष्ट्र को दी गई एक सलाख है और विदुर नीति जीवन प्रेम जीवन व्यवहार के नीति के रूप में अपना विशेष स्थान रखती हैं। विदुर नीति के इस वीडियो में मेरे ज्यादातर बातें अंग्रेजी में होंगे लेकिन मैं आपको प्रत्येक श्लोक का हिंदी में सार बताऊंगा आपका स्वागत है आप शुरू करते हैं इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैड कवर्ड समथिंग सत्र एक में मैंने महर्षि वेद व्यास विदुर नीति के और इसे सीखने के लाभों से परिचित कराया मैंने धृतराष्ट्र और विदुर के बीच बातचीत के विषय पर शुरुआत करें आज इस वीडियो विदुर नीति का सत्र दो है सो लेट्स बिगिन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज द स्लाइड टू दिफ्टली कवर इन द सेशन वन वी टॉक अबाउट द बैकग्राउंड descriptions shrutis and smritis and i uh, introduced maharaj maharshi vedavyas i gave you a quick introduction to vidur niti and what do we get the benefits of learning it and we started up with the conversation between dhritarashtra and mantri vidu dhritarashtra was a king he was a king and he knew dharma not that he didn't know but then why did he call vidura for advice because his mind was in conflict and he wanted a quick relief like you pop a pill when you have a headache he wanted some solace a word of comfort a lullaby to make him sleep Now, if you share your problem with a close friend, don't you feel better, as if some load has gone off your leg, unburdened your head? Then why was his mind in conflict? Because his mind was closed; it was not open. The pressure inside was growing. He loved his son Duryodhana so much. and wanted him to continue enjoying the kingdom don't we find people today at the helm of political kingdom wanting their sons or daughters to continue holding the power whether qualified or not qualified because they have so much of affection so this is not new this is there since immemorial and it continues even today so dhritarashtra he wanted his son to continue and did not want to part with any of the kingdom to pandavas who were really entitled to it so it was not fair isn't it so his intelligence told him it was not fair but the mind was overpowering it just like people yielding to some temptations even though they are warned so you see the people who are alcoholics the mind wants their desire to continue but the intelligence tells him stop it now you are going to get into trouble but then they overpower it so we have similar things happening so he wanted someone also to say yes to his thinking so that he feels comfortable okay i am thinking okay don't we have bosses who say that to have a closed mind but want the subordinate to say yes to what all they do so 
this is something uh, very interesting that people have their desires bottled up and they want someone to say yes. There was a story of uh, a very high position Indian was serving under a British boss. His name was KPS Menon, was a very senior ICS person and the British boss asked him, Mr. Menon, supposing I asked you to nominate a successor for you, whom would you select? And Menon, without blinking an eye, said, of course, Bahadur Singh. The British was asked, who is Bahadur Singh? Oh, Bahadur Singh is our pion, you know. You mean you are going to recommend your pion to your position? Benin said, yes. What's wrong in it? How can you justify it? Well, he is very tall, he is very handsome, and he will say yes to what all you say. He is the best person for you. So he had the guts to tell the British boss that what he needs is a yes man. So here also Dhritarashtra probably wanted a yes person to say what all he thought. So we do not have to be careful. Just as an Indian was careful with the boss, the boss can fire him. So Vidura is a minister and Dhritarashtra is a king, so he could have also fired him. So he has to be very diplomatic in his answering question. At the same time, make the king realize by himself that he was wrong. So Vidura was really a pundit, a learned person. So let's continue with this session on Vidura continuing to explain who is a pundit, a learned person, and what are his qualities. Pandit kaun hai? Pandit ke gun kya hai? In contrast, who is a fool? Kaun mood ka hai? Mood hai? So, we will go to the next verse on who is a Pandit. Yes, Chakritam na jananti mantram va mantritam pare kritam evascha jananti Savai Pandita Vujjate. You know the word here. Yascha Krityam Na Jananti. Krityam means what is done, work. In Hindi you say karma. It comes from the same root, kr, to do. Karma is also from the same root, work. So when I'm talking, I'm also giving you some explanation on the Sanskrit roots. Yes, Chakritam na jananti. In Hindi also say, mai nai janta hu, right? He says, na jananti. Again, the root from jan. So, one whose work, yes, Chakritam work, na jananti, is not known to others. Mantram va mantritam pare. Now here, what is mantram? It is actually coming from the Vedic word mantra. Nowadays, even in management, you call it management mantras. Mantras which will produce miracles. Which will produce some profits for the company. The word mantra comes from manana trayati iti mantraha. The one which by repeating in your mind protects you is called mantra. It is related to mind. Mana is mind. The thought arising from the mind extended to an activity like management, like rituals also. They are all 
mantras. So here, the mantram va mantritam pare. Pare is others. Those, the thinking or the proposals that he has in mind or whatever he has in mind is not revealed to others. To give you examples, you know all what happened during demonetization. Not a word was known to others, but it still happened. Even in case of revoking the class 370A, nothing was known. Very recently, just three, four days back, one of the actors here in USA, very well known actor, Black Panther, he acted in that movie. Chadwick Boseman. Four years he struggled with cancer. Nobody knew it. He still continued to work. True Kamba Yogi. He continued to act, bearing all the pain to himself, not uh, complaining to others, look here, I'm not well, I cannot work, I have got cancer. No. So it is something the pundits don't reveal what is happening in their mind and then they get the job done. One whose work and proposals are unknown, not revealed to others. But someday they have to also become open, isn't it? Krita Bevasya Jananti Savai Pandita Uchyate. After the job is done, they become known. And then people, of course, come to know that's happened. Savai Pandita Uchyate, such a person is considered to be a Pandit. So, if you see the saramsham or the essence of this, in Hindi, I can say, Jiske Karya, Vyavahar, Salah, or Vicharko, Karya Pura Ho Jane, Tak Nay Batasati, Karya Honeke Bad, Mahibeti. को बताएंगे दूसरे लोग जान पाते हैं काम संपन्न होने पर वही पंडित कहलाता है सो दैट इज द सारांश ऑफ आवर एसेंस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्लोगन लेट्स गो फर्दर टू द नेक्स्ट वन द फिश क्या बा सम्माने Na avabane na tapyate Gango krita ivadche pyo Yasa pandyata ucchate Na krishya atma Sammane You all know samman Sanman, even in Hindi you say Sanman, that means some award, some recognition, some reward, honors. Na Krishya Atma. He doesn't feel overjoyed, does not jump, does not go to a party and start drinking. No. He just keeps himself calm. He does not get overjoyed in honors. Na abamane na tapyate. Abaman. Insult. You do find it in the media. All kinds of insults hurled at a lot of people. People, VIPs, political leaders, uh, or maybe in the media, whichever. They are known in the society. And so many people heard insult at some. But the Pandita, he does not grieve at insults and remains cool as what you call a cucumber. But here the example given is not a cucumber, but it is given as a lake on the course of Ganga. You know, there are many small pond-like things, lakes. As Ganga flows, the water goes. 
it then reminds while the river is flowing the lake is very calm so he reminds cool ganga for that he watch if you like a lake on the course of ganga he reminds cool and calm yasa pandita uchchate such a person is called pandit some of you who are familiar with uh, bhagavad gita also know this slokam comes where lord krishna say harsha varsha vayodvege mukto yasaja me priya harsha there also use the same word harsha which means pleasure avarsha is the opposite which is pain bhaya the fear udvegahi anxiety muktaha freed mukti you say is mean mukti salvation but muktaha means getting freed so those who are equal in pleasure and pain and free from fear and anxiety such devotees are very near very very near and dear to me says lord krishna so it is actually in agreement in this so it is something which people they remain balanced equipoise they don't get ruffled by insults nor jump up when they get some recognition so they are balanced जो आदर सम्मान होने पर भी फूला नहीं समाता और अपमान होने पर भी दुखी नहीं होता जैसा गंगा जी के कुंड में के समान इसके मन को कोई दुख नहीं होता है वह पंडित कहलाते हैं सो गोइंग फर्दर वन मोर यथा शक्ति चिकीर्षति यथा शक्ति चकुर्वते न किंचत अवमन्यन्ते पंडिता परसर्षव यथा शक्ति शक्ति यू नो इज एनर्जी और वन हु इज स्ट्रांग chikishanti chikishanti is chikishan is attraction or desire you must have a goal in life whatever you do right so you should be driven towards the goal so those who are very strong in their desire to pursue your goal you know when the animals go after a prey especially wild animals the goal is to catch the prey and they will do everything to pursue it and finally catch it must have seen tigers and leopards in action so the people who go after a goal like a leopard does they are very strong in their desire and act according to the best of their ability yatha shakti cha kurvate again kurvate is the act they put in all the resources physical mental everything in order to pursue their desire they work the people you must have perhaps come across a book called sun seven effective seven habits of effective people this again western book which has taken many things from our scriptures they have this habit of working to make sure that whatever they do they pursue it like a hawk na kinchit tava manyante they don't think of anything as insignificant chota chota cheez bhi बड़ा लगता है उनको 
small, you know, when they do the investigation, some of these movies you see, a very small clue will give them a big help in order to find who is the culprit. Similarly here, they don't disregard anything as insignificant. You know, in good old days, the kings used to go in the night to gather intelligence amongst people, what, what they are talking about. So they will overhear somebody talking something, maybe a small thing, but it will give you a clue to the king how the people are thinking. Since the days of Bojaraja and Mahakavi Kalidas, Bojaraja used to go like that, it seems. So those are all days when the leaders took initiative. Why should the king keep awake in the night? Because he wants to feel the pulse of the people. So he goes and listens to people to find out how people are reacting to things. And then he makes amends to make sure that uh, whatever changes have to be done to the policy, they do it. One of the things I learned in Japanese management, you see, they don't go from top to bottom, they go from bottom to top. So if the boss wants to know what his subordinates are thinking, in the evening over a drink at the bar, when everybody is free, open mind, so he talks about some proposal which he wants to implement, and then he gets the feelings of his subordinates. And he keeps it in the mind, so the next day, he drafts the proposal according to what people think and what will really work because he needs cooperation from his people, from his team. So they don't disregard that. Anybody says that. In fact, this is a fundamental thing about quality circles and quality management in Japan where no matter how insignificant or impractical a suggestion may seem, it is not disregarded and thrown away. Probably you all know the story of Walkman, Sony, found long ago, a small tape recorder, a mobile tape recorder. So you can put it with the earphone and you can listen to music. When a suggestion was thrown by a Sony engineer to have this kind of mobile device, nobody laughed. They took it up very seriously and then the result was the invention of Sani Wackman. So the people who are pundit, they do not disregard anything as insignificant. They give value to it. And out of a small idea comes a big product. Long ago, when I was in school, I read about Thomas Alva Edison, how he invented the electric bulb. He carbonized many materials, but nothing worked. So he was frustrated and he was just wearing a coat and uh, he started twisting the button. You know, courts have large buttons in those days. So he started twisting that button and then out came a long thread. So he thought, why not I carbonize this thread and do it? And he carbonized the thread that that worked. Birth of electric bulb out of a very insignificant piece of thread from his coat. So that is how things work. So, Buddhiman Purusha, Shakti ke anusa kaam karne ke ichcha rakte hain aur use pura bhi karte hain tata kisi vastu ko niratak ke roop mein upetcha nahi karte hain. That is the greatness of Pantis. Such a person is addressing King Dhridarashtra, Bharatashtrava, O King. Okay, let's go to the next quality of a pandit pravarta vakshatra katha ogavan pratibhanavan asukrantasya bhakta cha savai pandita ucchate so here he talks about the speaking ability of the Pandit. You know, there are people who are conversant uh, with many terminology. It's very strange, you know, when you have a child, 
and one year old, or you see the child growing up, he starts picking up a few words, amma, appa, and so on. And by the time he's maybe two or two and a half, he started speaking. So it takes maybe two, three years to begin talking. And we all love the innocent talk of a child. What, ha what happens? It takes decades for a person to learn what not to talk. No talking, but there's also another thing called you should avoid talking at some times. They say, there is a saying that I would rather be called a fool by my silence than talking and confirming it. By my talk, I confirm I am a fool. <laughs> so prefer to be silent. So here, Prabhupta Vati Chatrakata, one who can speak boldly without fear. And he can converse on different topics. Chitrakata. His range of knowledge is very wide. He knows the science of debate. He has the intellectual equity. And he can interpret the meaning of text. So when you actually meet someone, you should know what to talk and what not to talk. So many people, they begin a conversation in a very nice way, like saying, Jai Sri Ram, or Namaste, Aap Kaise Hai, Tabiya Thik Hai, all these things are good. And you, look, you can even say, if you don't know anything, you look good. It's some kind of a compliment to begin a conversation. But I've also seen people who come and tell, you know, 120 people died from Corona yesterday. You should be very careful. Meaning you're all sort of risk. Thousands of people are crying because of Hurricane Laura. You can't begin a conversation like that. It's a negative touch. It actually is very emotionally not very suitable, appropriate for the other person. Leave the sad news to the news readers in the television. In fact, in CBS News, yesterday, the news reader herself was so tired of bad news, she said, I wish 2020 is done and gone. A thousands of years ago, Vidura, he taught this to Dhritarashtra on the talking skills of a Pandita. One who speaks boldly, one who can converse very well on various subjects. He knows the science of debate. And he can interpret the meaning from Vedas or other text scriptures. Such a person, Savai Pandita Vichyate. So, Jo Nirbhag Hokar Baad Karta Hai, Kai Vishyam Pe Achche Se Baad Kar Sakta Hai, Tarka Vitarka Me Kushal Hai, Pradipa Shali Hai, Aur Shastro Me Likhe Gaye Baaton Ko, Shikrata Ke Samaj Sakte Hai, वही पंडित कहलाते हैं अपने शास्त्र में तो बहुत है चीज में उसे शीघ्रता समझ पाने समझ होकर दूसरे को बता सकते हैं वही पंडित कहलाते हैं ओके नाउ वी हैव टॉक्स सो मच अबाउट द क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ पंडित राइट ऑपोजिट एंड टू द कंट्ररी इज a Buddha, a Murk, or a fool. Now, what is the sign of a fool? Who is a fool? Let's go further. Achurita sasa bandhato 
दरिद्रस्य महामना अर्थाचा कर्मण प्रेम सुच्यते बुध न्याय अन्याय क्रम अक्रम धर्म अधर्म श्रुत अश्रुत So here, asruta means un unheard of. In other words, one who has no learning about the Vedas, who is, he doesn't know it, or who is ignorant of scriptures. In other words, scriptures meaning those which can really give you knowledge, and he is not knowing any of them. Who is ignorant of that, but still feels that he knows. there are people who know that they know there are people who know that they don't know there are people who don't know that they know they are not able to pick out see this is somewhere in the mind but they don't know the last variety <laughs> the people who don't know that they don't know But still, they will pretend as if they know. Samudra Dharidrasya Mahamana Ha. Samudra Samudra the means who is proud, arrogant, swollen pride. Oh, I know everything. I used to experience it many times. You know, we have these cooperative societies or uh, housing. We have many apartments, flats, and there is a problem about water. people who don't anything about water they'll keep they'll pose as if they are the experts in water swollen pride ignorant but still they would like to show off daridrasya maha mana you know daridra is poor they'll think big but then they have this pride in them they become haughty arthas chakarmana arthas chakarmana prepsu they will be unfair artha means to to follow an objective mostly personal objectives they will use all kind of means unfair to achieve personal objective i want something to be done so i will do anything to get it such a person is said to be fool by whom budai hi by the wise buddha buddhi wise intelligent so the intelligent the wise people will say this is he is a fool because he doesn't know he has no real knowledge but still think that he knows is is very haughty and arrogant and he adopts anything to get his personal job done such a person is called wise is fool by the wise bina padhe hai swayam ko gyani samajhte hain daridra ho kar bhi ahankar karne wale तथा बैठे बिठाए धन पाने के काम ना करने वाला मूर्ख घगलाते हैं ओके वन मोर ऑन हु इज अ फूल समर्थम च परित्यज पराप्तम अनुतिष्टति मिथ्याचरते मित्राते यश्च मूढ़ा सबुच्यते स्वयं, सेल्फ, समर्थम मीन्स द 
to work for what is his own matter. Pari tetchate, tetchate means to reject it or not mindful. So one who is unmindful or rejecting his own concerns, his matters, parartha manu trishtati, he concerns himself about the matters of others. You know, you go to a restaurant sometimes. What to order? You look at the menu. There are some people who want the menu, but they will not order that. They look at who is who, the neighbor who is eating something. What is that thing? They will order that. They will not know what they want, but uh, somebody else is eating that. Why not I eat that? The same way, there are people who are concerned about something somebody else, not their own. So, this person is always doing like that, rejecting his own matters, concerns himself the matters of others. Mitya charate, mitrate, yascha boda savuchate, who is very deceitful with, with his friends. He is uh, not only not thinking about himself, but he looks at the matters of others, but he, he deals very deceitfully with his friends. Such a person is called a fool. Apna kaam chodkar, dusra ka kaam mein haath dalte hain. Like you poke your nose into somebody else. Tata mitra ke kahne par uske galat karyon mein uska saath dete hain. Vat murka kathawate hain. Okay. There is also one more definition of who is a fool. Param chipati doshe na parta baraha swayam tata. Yes, chakritta anisaha sansa cha buddha tapo naraha. You know, I had a boss who will not sign anything, any document, any authorization unless. His boss signs it and I sign it. So in between, he'll sign it. Because if something goes wrong, he'll say, I initiated it and approved by his boss. So he's free. <laughs> you must have seen many in, in uh, work situations that uh, somebody wants to play safe. And if something goes wrong, they're very quick to blow me, throw the blame on others. Today you see it happening in many places. The politicians throw the blame on somebody else. So the param chipati doshena vartapanaha swayam tata. So whatever he does, he is something wrong. He will try to throw the blame on others. And he will not only do that, he is Somebody tries to say that he is wrong, and even though he is powerless, he will get angry. So he will blow up. Oh, I didn't do it. So you see these in work situations, in daily situations, in many places where someone does not take responsibility not accountability but throws the blame on someone else such people are the greatest of fools so this is uh, uh, actually practically seen by people doshi vyaktis jo dosron par dosh dalne ke koshish karta hai tada ek shakti hi na vyakti jo krodh ko hawa dete hain giving vent to anger vah maha murk kehlate hain so this is what is the definition of a fool. So we will stop at this point. I have uh, given you a very quick idea. Only certain slokas which I selected. I mentioned earlier we can't cover all. So we will give only the highlights. So in this session two, we have covered what Vidura continued in the definition of who is a pundit and also who is a fool. 
So we will meet the next session number three. Until then, thank you all. And as usual, I like to say, please give me a feedback. And in fact, when you look at my video, you'll be finding a small subscribe button. If you are interested, just push it. That's it. Very simple. And it will be a, a subscription so that you can always get the alerts whenever there is a new video coming up. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day. Namaste.